welcome back to my channel if you happen to be new here. My name is Jess. So today is day two of seven days of top seven and today's topic is thought provoking. So your top seven books that are thought provoking. Now I read a lot of books in my time so you'll see throughout this series that I'm doing for the next seven days. Um, these are really just the ones that stuck out to me at the moment. There are obviously books that maybe are a little bit more thought provoking that you can think of that maybe perhaps I have read but like I said this is all personal opinion. This is all books that just came to mind right now. So if you see anything here that I haven't talked about it's because it just wasn't in my eyes at the time so a lot of books to me are pretty thought-provoking so there are a bunch of books on my shelves that I could have chosen for this but I decided these seven because these are the ones that really stick out in my mind I've either read them when I was very young and loved them um, and they made me think or in a way that I've read recently that really made me think but but I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and just get started so the first book that I have here is actually a book that I read recently that I was not expecting to love so much but a lot of my friends were talking about it and I was like all right well I have to pick it up because people that I really trust their reviews on were saying how great it was and it is The Foxhole Court by Nora Sakovic. This book if you guys haven't read it if you guys haven't read the series I just read the first one. I own the second one and haven't bought the third one yet because as you guys know I'm on a buying ban until January so I'm waiting to pick up the third one so I'm kind of postponing reading the second one but this book is amazing. This is a book about a sports team. There's a boy named Neil who is trying to run away from his past because his father was actually sort of in like the mafia and him and his mom run away and his mom passes away while they are on the run and he is trying to keep his anonymity. He's trying to make sure no one figures out who he is. And then he's drafted to play for PSU Foxes, which is a Palmetto State University um, sports team. They play something called Exe. And the reason why this book is so good because it really draws a line between what is a good character and a bad character, like what makes them a good person or a bad person. And the whole time I was reading this book, I was just like, oh man, I hate that character, I hate them so much. And then like 15 pages later, I was absolutely in love with them. The reason why to me this book is so thought provoking is because it really makes you think about what makes a person a good person or a bad person. Is it their circumstances, their actions, things like that. And if you haven't read this, I would definitely recommend it. It is a kind of hard book to read. There's a lot of really messed up things that happen in this, but I still think it's absolutely worth it. Kind of a trigger warning though, there's a lot of drugs, there's a little bit of sexual assault in it. Um, but still, I think it's a very, very good book if you go into it with an open mind. Now, I couldn't film this video without talking about one of the most thought-provoking books for me, and that would be Unstoppable by Bill Nye. Um, I used to watch Bill Nye the Science Guy growing up. I'm a huge fan of him and Neil deGrasse Tyson, I think is, that's how you say it. But this book is amazing because it talks about climate change. Now, we tend to ignore that we do have climate change happening, and I think a a lot less people in my generation tend to ignore it, but I feel like it's become kind of a myth for some reason, and there's obvious truth that it is happening. So I really enjoyed this book, and it was very thought-provoking for me because he presents it in a way that is like, this is a fact, this is what is happening, and then he goes into how we can stop it. And if you have not read this, if you're at all concerned with like our environment or anything like that, I would definitely read this because there were actually points in this book that I was actually crying because I was so worried about humanity. So I definitely say this is one of the most thought-provoking books that I have ever read. Talk about thought provoking. Oh my god, this book, you guys have seen me talk about it. I will eventually upload my review for it. I'm just like waiting for the good time to upload it because it was really, really hard to film um, in a way because there's so much that happens in this book. But as We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson, this book is very, very hard to read. It is about a boy who's abducted by aliens and the aliens give him a choice on whether or not to save humanity by pressing a button. And you would think that that is the biggest thing that happens in this book, but it's not. Um, his boyfriend at one point in time um, has committed suicide suicide, there's a lot of drugs, there's um, a trigger warning here, there's some rape and things like that, attempted rape in this book, but it is just, an, and there's also abuse and things like that, but this book really, really makes you think about who we are as people, whether or not we are worth saving, uh, because that is obviously the choice that he has given, and the thing about this is it's very realistic, the world that he lives in, the life that he has, is very realistic. It is something that a lot of people have dealt with and are currently dealing with. So the reason why this was so thought provoking, it's like, who are we as people? Are we worth saving? Um, is humanity worth, you know, continuing with things like that? And I've had a lot of discussions with my friends on whether or not we would press the button. And it's, it's a very deep conversation. I think that's what this book opens up for. So I think that this is one of the most thought provoking books I have ever read. Now for this next book, it's actually the second one in a series, but this is the most thought-provoking of the two that I have read. The third one comes out in May. Um, you guys will have seen the first one in the video from yesterday, but it is Waking Gods by Sylvain Newable. The reason why this book is very thought-provoking is, um, a little bit of spoilers here, but you do find out that the machine that they are trying to build, the robot that they are trying to build from the first book, is actually a piece of alien technology. So this book does have a lot of aliens in it. They actually come and, you know, kind of meet the humans. And the reason why I thought this book was really thought-provoking is because the main character 
is actually a man who is interviewing everybody and you get to know him a little bit more in this book and the reason why it really made me think is because in the entire first book he's kind of condescending and manipulative and things like that as he's trying to interview but you find out so much about him as a character in this book and the transformation that he has was very thought-provoking for me because you learn about his background and why he does what he does and a little bit more about who he is and it really makes you think that why he chose to do what he did and why he is helping humanity at all and I just really love this series I, I cannot get enough of it and I cannot wait for my until the third one comes out. Now the next two books that I have here are both actually John Green books, so I'm going to talk about the one that I have spoken about more recently, and if you want to see more about it, I will leave it in a card up on the top of the screen for the review that I posted, but it is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. The reason why this was really thought-provoking, at least for me, is because I suffer from OCD, and her main character of this book actually also suffers from OCD, and the book is very realistic. It is own voices written by John Green, so I feel like maybe that is why it was so realistic, but it really, really made me think about who I am and how I act and how my actions impact others and how my OCD may impact others so I really enjoyed this book and it was very very thought-provoking because it was so believable like I said as somebody who has OCD very very believable story and it was just it was absolutely heartbreaking but if you've not read this I would definitely recommend it it will make you think it will give you a little bit more resources as well into somebody who has OCD and the second book that I have here from John Green is my incredibly old copy of Looking for Alaska the reason why I really really think that this book is thought-provoking because it comes off as in a true John Green way a very like kind of meandering um, contemporary novel, but the further along you get into it, you start to learn more and more. Now our main character, Miles, goes to this school and he's he just kind of wants to go to school. He hasn't really had friends in the past, he's been kind of standoffish and things like that, but throughout this novel he really makes a core group of friends that he becomes very very close to. Obviously they have disagreements and fights and a lot of things happen, but um, this book is very old, but something happens at the end of this book that, or towards the end of this book, that really, really makes you think about how short life is and how it can all be gone in like two seconds and how it's a, it's important to take time to tell the people that you love that you love them and to spend time with people that you care about and just make your life the best that it can be. And I was fortunate enough to have read this when I was 15 um, and I was kind of going through a suicidal time in my life and obviously I am still here but this is one of the books that I say really got me through that is just knowing what happened in this book. I was reading it like I said at a very very hard time and it really got me through because it showed me that life is really just too short and you should just do what you want to do and take care of those that you love and it just really helped me along so if you haven't read this I would definitely recommend it it's a very it's, it's very contemporary it's very John Green so if you have any problem with either of those you might not like it but I really enjoyed the content from it and the second book I have here I've also done a review for on my channel and it is a poetry book and it is The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Loveless I adored this book this is obviously like I said a poetry book but the reason why I really like this one is because it isn't just like a normal poetry book like I am used to like reading. It was a story. It is Amanda's way of telling her story of the things that she has gone through in her life. And the reason why this was so thought provoking to me is because it was so honest. It was so brutal and like raw. And I really, really enjoyed that. You definitely feel like you know Amanda so much more just from reading this. I feel like she really put herself on paper. And I cannot wait to read the second one. It comes out soon. But this book as even though it is a poetry book it was really really thought-provoking and for me that's such a big deal because poetry isn't really thought-provoking to me anymore even though I am a poet so I don't know but I still really really enjoyed this book and it really makes you think I cried so much while reading it so be prepared for that if you choose to read it but if you have read it please let me know in the comments below what you thought of it because I haven't read any poetry that really made me think in the recent years but this one definitely did so if you have any other good poetry recommendations as well please let me know Alright guys, so that is it for day two of seven days of top seven. Um, I am super excited to be doing this. I, as always, I will link in the description box below um, Jay's original video for this if you guys are looking to follow along with us as well. Um, anybody is welcome to do this and I think you totally should because the prompts are very good and she kind of gave you alternatives for a couple of them if you're like struggling. So I really, really like that she put the thought into that. So if you guys are wanting to follow along, like I said, it'll be in the description box below. But I hope you guys are having a good week and I will see you in my video tomorrow. Bye!